Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. While you're here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because I want to show you something that just ain't even on YouTube. Not that I can find anyways. So, I've got a 2014 BMW M5. Here it is. And the problem is, uh, we had a little fender bender. Uh, it didn't set off the airbags, but however, it did set off the headrest. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. So, uh, here we go. All right, guys, so if you look in here, you can see uh, that this headrest has already been fixed, and that headrest is extended. It's a safety feature that BMW has, and it prevents whiplash. And I gotta say, I didn't even know that this existed in this car when we bought it, uh, but it's a very good feature because it really did prevent the whiplash. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over this side. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and extend this headrest all the way up. Then I'm going to lay the seat all the way down as far as it'll go. That should be good there. Now I'm gonna go in from over here, uh, that way I can get into there and like kind of look down in it take my light set it right here for this job really the only thing you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver uh i know it looks very hard and complex and it kind of is but uh i'll show you how to fix it right up here Okay, so first we need to understand how this works. There is a charge located right here. You can't see it, but I'll show it to you here in just a minute. <clears throat> so when the car detects the accident, it sets that charge off and it extends this headrest and that there will prevent your neck from getting whiplash or to some extent at least. And then these, these lock to pre prevent the headrest from going back in. So first step we're gonna do, take your handy dandy flathead screwdriver. And if you look right in here, you'll see right there, you'll see this clip. And then there's another one on this side right here. All we gotta do, Push down just a little bit. And that comes off. Do the same for the other side. Push it back just a little bit. Now you can see that the bottom is loose. So now there's one clip here and one clip here, just exactly the same. We can just kind of fill our way around in here. It's really kind of hard to see well, you can't really see it, you just have to do it by feel, but eventually you will get it. I think I got one. back down here push that back off and then the back of the headrest will pop off just like that all right so if you look right here this is the charge that controls this entire system so when that goes off it pushes this lever down which releases the headrest itself 
So what we're going to do is go ahead and remove that. Now this is a temporary fix. Um, obviously this will be replaced, uh, but for now I'm just going to remove it and I'm going to coat it out. But I am going to replace this as soon as it comes in the mail. So I'll have to do it twice, but that's all right. I don't, I don't really mind. It's not that big of a job. And it just comes out just like that. So you're still going to get the error on your dash for it, but you'll uh, at least have some normal looking headrest. And this thing here is kind of hard to get back in here. There we go. And then it just clips on each side. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and lock this in place. Just make sure y'all can see here. Going to hold these locks open. And this is a tricky part here. Because you have to hold these open. And this needs to come up just a little bit, not all the way. <clears throat> so I'm pushing on this lever where that charge was sitting. So push it about halfway down, I guess. <clears throat> At the same time, just trying to maneuver this headrest. And then I'm going to pull up on the spot where the charge was sitting and now it's back in place so it's pretty easy and straightforward you just have to know where all the clips are and the tricks and all that now we can pop this headrest back on And there it is. So now, whenever the parts come in, I'll replace that charge and it'll be just like new. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that share button. See you next time.